Hello you amazing hackers, I hope you're all doing well today. So when you clicked on this video, you probably wanted to find out what local file inclusion was or remote file inclusion. Well today we're going to talk a little bit more about local file inclusion and the next video is going to be a remote file inclusion. So let's get right into it shall we. So I have this BWAP here, which is a buggy web application, which is developed by OWASP. I really like trying to hack this thing because it's really well made, I would say. You can find the source code, so it's interesting because it's kind of a white box it's hacking, you know, you know what you're doing. So the first thing I did was I was looking up this code, of course, but I know what local file inclusion is. So let's get right into it, shall we? When you see here, you can select the language. So we, for example, we're going to take English. <coughs> you have a few parameters here, like your language and your action. So I can replace this parameter language with, for example, dot, 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 and then backslash. And I do this because uh, I just insert an ar arbitrary amount of dots and backslashes because I want to make sure that I end up in the root directory. So when you know a little bit about Linux, you know that a dot, dot, uh, backslash is going like a step back in your folder structure. And then I just want to get etc password. So when I do this, you can see that the variable of etc password is printed in here directly into the page. So this is local file inclusion. I can get any file onto the system that I want. So that's what that was pretty much it. It's pretty simple. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I hope it brought you some value. So I hope I'll see you also in the next one. Bye.